Morning everybody, my name is Jake Reeds. I work in the Fisheries Function for the Environment Agency. And today we're down at Horseshoe Lake, which is a deep in St. James Angling Club Lake, um, just near Wandsford. And we're gonna do a survey for them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the boat in, we're gonna run around and map the depths out and do some side scan work. And hopefully be able to produce a depth map for them so they understand which pegs they've got which depth on and what kind of habitat they've got and how they can possibly do some improvements and also give an idea of the fish population in here and see what we've got. So um, uh, yeah, we'll um, uh, put the gear in and go from there. All right, so up in surveying now, um, we're gonna do some transects first of all, to start mapping the depth out. So we just go up and down the lake quietly on electric outboard. Um, it's a sonar unit, it's off the front there. Come right there. So skip, uh, I'm using a small electric outboard today and that just allows it quite quietly. There's a few people fishing so we don't disturb them too much. But um, uh, what we do is, if you're on the chart, we start mapping out depths like that. So we kind of fill in the gaps as we go around and we'll process that data back in the office. These are the tracks that we made during that survey. So we started up here and we came down and did this section. And we basically kind of um, fill in the blanks really in terms of depths. So they're the tracks we made and once we've got those tracks and the associated depths with them, we can plot them into a depth map and we'll do that next. In order to map that, it's quite a simple process in the software. So we map that out, we draw in the banks around and create a line for them, add them to the map as well, and this is what it gives you. So an overview, where contour lines on of the depths of the lake. So we'll export that in a minute to a um, uh, satellite image to overlay that. But also we can look at it in 3D as well. So you can zoom on the lake and see different areas. Um, the main thing that stands out there really is deeper area just here and now this bend and then where those lily pads are in a minute I'll show you on the on the video um, you can see the depth decrease with them so um, uh, it's quite a useful technique this is and it doesn't take long to do so once we've exported that data we can open it in Google Earth and see what it looks like in a map so we can zoom in to Horseshoe Lake and the depth will be overlaid on top of the satellite image so again it's quite useful for the club because it helps them uh, look at specific features on the on the lake itself so yeah we'll add this to the port as well and again very useful just in terms of looking at um, possible habitat stuff um, where your deeper areas are and um, possible places where fish can hide and how we can make improvements to these things the sonar unit we're using you can use it to map depths with like on the left hand side here and also it's a side scan unit as well and a down imaging unit so you can look um, at fish in the water and it'll give you a bird's eye view either side of the boat as we go along. So what we did here, after we did the depth maps, we tried to find out, have a look at the fish population. So this is up in the, the top kind of uh, northwest corner. And what we did, we did a, a transit line down this bank. And this this low, um, so this shallow point here, that relates to a big set of um, a reed bed. It looks like a um, club rush coming up. And that was just there, loads of fish inside in there. So we did a run down there, and you can see on the right hand side here, there's a fallen down tree and that equates just over here on the map somewhere. Quite a few fish in there, but when you start looking in the side scan images, you can see fish. So these white marks with shadows cast behind them are all fish. And when you when you drill down, there's actually yeah, a lot lot of fish in this section, this part of the lake. So that was definitely the favourite favourite bit when we were surveying. Um, loads of fish in and amongst these lily pads, and I've got some better shots of them on the GoPro in a minute. But yeah, fishing in and out of the fallen down tree just there you can see the white marks and that's a classic theme they like a structural habitat so yeah good numbers in this section of lake and we surveyed it that was definitely the place to be um yeah it may you know a bit shallow as well in general and you're just looking at that image there and it was you know the sun was out when we did it it was the first kind of warm day of spring so um uh, so yeah that may have something to do with it just them you know bathing in the sunshine at a few warmer temperatures so this is some uh, section just near where that um big weed bed was uh, you can see them just starting to come up there, growing there. That's that far bank that we went down. And you can see there's a fish just there, a couple more fish loafing up here, just out in the sunshine. But this whole reed bed was absolutely full of fish, full of carp, um, all out enjoying the sunshine. So we tried to get some underwater footage best we could, but it's, yeah, it's quite tricky when the water's so turbid because as soon as you put the camera in, it disappears. So I'll just cut out a few of them, uh, the better images in a second. But you get really close up to them, they're out there enjoying the sunshine. This is a good example of some of the fish we found in there. It's some uh, real, real fast video, so um, uh, yeah, you blink and you miss it. But yeah, what we're able to do is go around with the GoPro, um, put it into water, get really close to the carp as they come past, and um, uh, just have a look at them really to get an idea of the sizes and, and the numbers. So I'm um, press play now, it's ever so quick though. So 
So the club are quite proactive in terms of the management of the lake. They've got a really good website, um, a really good um, uh, uh, telemetry as well for depths on the on the river section. So yeah, if you if you go on there, you can get some real detail. Um, yeah, also good at installing habitat stuff. So what they've done here, they've installed two floating islands. Um, yeah, floating um, microphytes coming out of them. Um, and they're really really good for shelter for smaller fish especially. So if you want your, your juvenile roach and stuff to help survive over winter, areas is the key, they really do like over red cover. So able to go past in the boat, um, yeah, have a look at those as well. And um, uh, yeah, good, good little bit of habitat and they'll, they'll come on and grow nicely in the, in the summertime. So that's just a simple technique you can do on any, any club lake and it will really will make a difference these things do. We've um, uh, seen it a lot in terms of fish using them. All the results from the survey have been collated and put into this report for the Anglia Club. So in here is the depth map, um, some stuff on the fish population they've got and you know some ideas of how they could possibly improve the uh, conditions of fish there and you know, maybe things to help angling. So uh, yeah this is the kind of report they get and it's all paid for by Wildlife's money. Thank you for watching.